hello. So we are back. Four repairs. Are so many people doing four repairs? But let's learn a few things about four repairs, yeah? Just to do it properly. Okay? Uh, what do we have here? Here we have a customer phone. It's a Samsung S9 Plus and has to be fixed. But how we, how we can fix something like that? From where we are getting the part? How we know if it's faulty or not? First, before you repair a phone, yeah, like this, cracked screen, okay? Uh, you have to test it before you open. Because you'll have a surprise, you open the phone, and the phone actually is not working, and customer came for a screen replacement, and you'll end up paying for that phone. If the customer, it will say, no, the phone was working. Okay? Be careful. So first, you test the phone, right? How we can test the phone? Just plug the charger and read the charging card, and that's a good sign if your phone is alive or not. Now, let's test together, yeah? Just take this test with me, yeah? Plug in the plug in the charger. Now read the USB meter because the USB meter can tell you a lot of things. Now what do you think about this phone? It's working or not? We have five volts and it's taking 2.7 amps. It is charging or not? You see this is a you can see it's showing like 4%. So this phone, it's a working phone or not? What you will say if you have this job and you check the phone with the charging and you look on the charging, uh, the charging values from the USB meter, you will think this is a good phone or not. Because I will tell you straight away, this is a faulty phone. Yeah? Now... That's why I told you, and I'm, I'm, I made video, and I read the comments, and people said, sorry, this is another advertised video. It's not. I will never sell myself doing, like, uh, advertising video just to buy you some things. Yeah? Never. So, this charger, this is a proper one. Yeah, I'm not working with copies or cables, copy cables, no. All, everything is original. And I'll show you this charger. Just to understand, so I'm using, even for MacBooks, I'm using this charger. Even for MacBooks, for uh, laptops, whatever it is, USB-C, whatever it is, USB-C, I'm using this charger. This is a genuine HP charger. It's genuine. Yeah, this is not a copy. Okay? So I'm using this charger to test phones, to test uh, laptops, and so on. Now, the USB-C is a standard on paper, yeah? On paper, it's a standard because everyone, every manufacturer is doing their things on their way. And if you plug the USB-C and you see it's charging, you say, okay, everything is fine here, you know? The phone is okay, the charger is fine. It's nothing what to, you can see here. This is our original charger plug in a Samsung. 5 volts, 2.7 amps. No, it's not right. It's not right. This is a USB-C one more time. So if I take a different charger, plug it into the phone, and read now. 9 volts, 1.4 amps. This is a good charger. Okay? This is a good charger, and we have it on screen. Of course we have it because we advertise this product, you remember? 9.2 volts, 1.5 amps. So it's leaving the USB with 9.2, and it's arriving here with 9 volts. 0 0.2 volts get lost on the wire. You remember this one? This cheap thing, which I think is like 15 pounds on Amazon, and this, which is a little bit more expensive, the USB meter. But anyway, I'm just trying to make the point why you need the good tools when you test. Yeah, because testing with my HP charger is not charging right. Actually, this is fast charging. Okay, now let's fix it. So you will think now it's a good phone and it looks fine for me. I mean, 9 volts. 
1.3 amps is fine. I believe he can st still go up to 12 volts. I'm not sure. But anyway, 9 volts. It's a sign. Uh, <clears throat> it's working fine. And maybe you'll not believe, but this came exactly with uh, a full description. Charging pool replacement and screen replacement and back cover replacement. Of course, I will not replace the, the port because the port is good. Okay, so I tested, so it's good. Okay, good. And we have one more, and I believe that one is with the battery. So, uh, I think we should open this and fix it, right? Now, I will use this heat pad. And I can't believe I worked so many years on, uh, on this field. And actually, I never use a heat pad. You remember I was using the heater. Like, I have like a heater. I was putting the phone in the front of the heater. And that's how I was fixing the opening phone and closing phones. But now, I have a thermal pad. It's unbelievable how easy it is to heat up a phone. I will leave a link in the description, but you don't have to buy it from the description. You, know, you can buy it, you, go, you can go straight to Amazon and buy it. But this is fantastic. Wow, it's, it's, it's already hot. So let's see, I set up this around 70 degrees. That it will heat up our phone quickly so we can remove the back cover and the screen. Probably I will edit the video and I will cut uh, just to short the video. Okay, so I think the phone is hot enough. 70 degrees is fine for Samsung. So let's try to remove the back cover first. Possible this has been opened before. So I don't understand how I work so many years without without a heat pad. Now be careful with the with the finger pre connector. Yeah, you have to be careful. The back cover is cracked. So we have to replace it. I did order same color. So the back cover is out. Okay, so the screws are out. I'm only using gloves because uh, it's very hot. And it's kind of uh, uncomfortable. And we have the screen here, okay? Let's remove the battery first. And let's remove the screen connector. And let's speak about the screen. What screen you're going to replace? Because on those days, these kind of screens, they came with frames. So actually, it's very hard to find uh, a screen without the frame. Because... Uh, Many people bought screens before was the only screens and uh, they crack it or they come with lines on after a while and now they are selling only the screen with the frame. The only problem is the frame, it's a copy frame and we replace a lot and we have problems like the buttons, like, uh, you know, charging port, like they come with some, they come with components and even if they don't come with components, you have to move the things from here, like the speaker, the cameras, and not everything is matching right. So I prefer, yeah, that's a personal prefer preference, to replace the screen and keep the original frame. I mean, over the time, I learned our original part, it's our original part. You know what I mean? I mean, you cannot compare with a copy part.
from my end, but you know, it's like you can't, you can't even compare. Original part will always will be better compared with a copy one. So I prefer to keep the original body and replace only the glass. Okay. I mean, whatever I'm buying, I prefer to buy original parts. Like uh, the customer said, it's a charging port, and uh, we have charging ports like this one. You can find on eBay. This is our original one. You can find, you know, people they they break in the screen, and there are people buying or shops they are selling the second hand. The they are selling like second hands original part. So this is a second hand original part. But as you can see, it's looking like new. So I prefer to work with original parts instead of buying a new one and copy. <clears throat> okay. With the battery, is the same. Again, you cannot really compare with an original battery with a copy one. So if you check on eBay, you will find uh, there are people buying uh, bulks like uh, the customer returns okay they bought a phone they use it for 15 days 30 days and they return it and uh, they can make more money stripping down that phone and selling on pieces instead of selling the phone as a second hand phone and you can find batteries with like uh, 15 days 30 days of use original and uh, they are like new and it's not they are like new because the the seller is saying they are like new. We are testing them. We have the tester and we are testing them. Okay. So I believe it's hot enough. Let's remove the screen. Now, this is a very messy job, you know. It's a lot of glass here. And uh, it's no other way. It's no other way. This is the original screen. When you open a screen, be careful to don't damage the proximity sensor. Okay. That's all what you have to be careful. And usually you'll find phones the proximity sensor has like a plastic there and be careful to don't lose it. Okay, so we took out the screen. Uh, the next step, first you have to check to see if your screen is good. You will have a surprise, you buy a new screen and it's not good. <laughs> I know, but this, those things happen because the screens are copies. Yeah, let's be honest, you will not find um, an original screen to buy. So don't dream. What do we have here? We have a copy screen. I bought only the screen, not the frame. Okay, now we have to test it and uh, see if it's working. If the screen is working, we can uh, put all screen back together here. Yeah? Okay, now we can plug the battery and we can power up the phone. And it looks like this screen is working. Seems fine. Hopefully the touch screen is working fine. Okay, so what we have to do now is to take out the battery. Again, unplug the screen. Take the screen out. And pay attention on the frame. If the frame has a single glass... Uh, If the frame has a single uh, glass uh, crystal, it will crack the screen, okay? That was very important to do it slowly under the microscope and clean the frame 
from glass and then with uh, with alcohol let's take the screen okay so i will use i will use i have my uh, b7000 which is it's, it's okay for these kind of jobs it's not perfect but it's okay and the screen is on place now regarding the foil, you should take the foil out or not, uh -huh. because uh, you know on the on the beginning uh, we were leaving the foil for the customer to see the screen actually is new. But turns out after a few years we had too many customers come back say uh, uh, my screen got cracked, and we ask how. I, I I took it from here cracked because as a foil and I couldn't see actually was cracked and I took the phone from you with the screen crack already. I mean you'll be surprised that there are a lot of of customer doing this kind of uh, doing anything to get a screen replacement. Yeah, I'm just trying, uh, just trying to explain how it's on a, a real life uh, a real shop. So the screen is on place, yeah? The screen is on place, let's test it one more time. Plugging back the battery. And the screen is coming going, and it's working fine. Now before, before you are uh, sticking the screen just have in mind you still have the adhesive from original screen that get activated on uh, probably around 60 70 degrees so you have to heat up the frame before you are using i don't know clamps or uh, whatever to press the screen but if you're pressing the screen don't press it too much with with a lot of pressure because this basically the screen has to float on the adhesive yeah it doesn't have to be stuck on the frame if it's stuck on the frame it will get cracked very easily so now let's get the back cover now for some reason this color particular color was very hard to find i don't know it's kind of gray and uh, i found it only on ebay because on online shops i couldn't find it not this color and only on ebay and it was quite 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 uh, a little bit of uh, money I don't know why. So what do we have to do is to move the fingerprint uh, reader. So yeah, that's how uh, you know we are doing the phones. I mean, when you have an online business, it's no rush. I'm not in rush. I'm not like at work when the customer is waiting a half an hour to replace the screen. So I have all time, you know, just to do it slowly and properly now like how i said i prefer the original parts but even if you work with copies yeah that's my advice if you work with copies uh, components especially with the batteries especially with the batteries because you buy a new battery and uh, you don't know nothing about that battery you just wait for the customer feedback if it's coming back with the, the battery okay the battery wasn't good you know so don't do it like that my advice like i'll show you how we are doing because we have a second phone let me show you we have a second iphone uh or second samsung sorry with uh from the same customer with a screen replacement and a battery replacement and like how i said i'm trying to get if it's possible original batteries and uh, the way how we are testing Give me one second. You see, this battery is on the testing process that I'm trying to not move it. 
So we are charging, we are charging and discharging the battery to check the capacity. Yeah. Otherwise, how you will know what capacity you fit on the, the customer phone? You, you really can't trust what the seller is saying about the battery capacity. So uh, the I start the, the discharge sequence. I charge the battery fully. I start the discharge sequence. And on the end, it will tell me how many milliamps or the capacity of the battery, how much, uh, how, how much is the capacity of the battery, which it's exactly what matter. Yeah. So the phone, it will hold the charge based on the capacity, on the final capacity. Okay. So let me leave this on one side because this test, it will take a few hours and I don't want to move anything. So, I mean, I understand if you replace like 10, 20 batteries every day, it's hard. You cannot test them. One test, it will take you probably like four or five hours. But at least test the batteries from, uh, from where you buy them and compare with another, uh, you know, warehouse that people are buying from the warehouse. So here in London, are, there are a few warehouses and the people are buying components from there. So you cannot test each battery, but at least try and get the time to check few batteries and make a difference and see which seller are selling better batteries. And when I say better batteries, it's about the capacity, yeah, because obviously that's how much the phone will hold the charge. So I'll stop now. The phone is fine. We heat up the phone back to 70 degrees. And uh, I'll put the clamps and that's all. Everything is fine here. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.